All right, we got a great uh, evening planned for us with the uh, music of the wild things, and then um, uh, my co-host Lauren Brandenburg is going to be reading, and our guest star from uh, the Ropes and Rivers series, Heidi Rivers, is going to be reading. So we're excited about that. Um, she also uh, hosts the reading series over at the 331 Club and the uh, large and noisy suburb known as Minneapolis. So, uh, the occupied West Bank? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we also have a guest poet. Uh, Ryan's going to come up here and read a, a poem. Uh, I'm going to start it off with some, some posy here, just to get me out of the way. This poem's called Hollywood Values. I've got Hollywood values. I'm all glitz and glamour and red carpet synergy. I'm a trend-setting cultural elite that never pays for drinks as I gently skim read the universe. Oh dear heartland, I've left you in the dust. I've shoveled your snow. I've fixed your fuel pumps. I've attempted to date your psychotic barmaids. I've fixed, I've fished your lakes and fired your semi-automatic weapons and it has got me absolutely fucking nowhere. <laughs> the salt of this earth is far too salty for me. Now I'm a flake, a hot-headed freak, a subtropical good time dude, and I can't remember my own name. Like most of my poems, this one's kind of hard to read. Not hard to read, just hard to physically read. Uh, okay, um... I know it starts somewhere, in it? This is a letter I wrote to Condoleezza Rice. Dear Madam, I've requested this impromptu meeting to discuss the lack of security measures made on my behalf. Just yesterday, several notebooks were taken from their secret location in, in my vehicle underneath beer cans in the backseat of my car. In these notebooks were classified in specific documents that were related to a life, not necessarily mine, of scamming, being pleasantly underemployed, free drink strategies, and the uh, covert buying and selling of pretty much everything, from slutty high-heeled shoes to luxury automobiles. If this falls into the wrong hands, it could destroy the work ethic and the very foundation of American society. Suspects could be armed, dangerous, and possibly female. Your attention in this matter is greatly appreciated. Thank you, Paul D. Dickinson. This one's called Dash Me to the Rocks. Broken brains drooling inside my weeping skull. Air Force radar beams sliced government cheese for breakfast, lunch, and moonlit dinners enjoyed inside space stations and riverboat casinos. Beware the plastic party people and the dangling wiretaps of yesteryear. Beware of the kamikaze glee club lying in wait behind every tavern door. Oh, quantum physics and the mystics and mutants and the calamity that gets in the way the tattered screen doors and the poorly lit shores that dash me on the rocks every day. I've been thrown to the wolves so many times that now I'm the part of the pack. If you're looking for me, the human that was me, I'm gone and I'm not coming back. All right. So it's called Night Dreaming. In my mind, I'm Bruce Lee, as I do backflips through the crowded nightclub. Midway through my routine, I realize that there is nothing more powerful in the United States of America than a Saturday night. It thunders with the roaring of V8 engines, the shuddering of sullen tornado clouds, the opening and closing of doors, the secrets lost deep in cavernous hearts. The notes to myself become more and more confusing, the evening is seized by a super protoplasm of half-dead cowboys, alive enough to drink, drive, and collide with tattooed maidens and roadhouses ablaze. 
that never quite burned down. O oh, Neptune, O oh, Zeus, O oh, Sylvia Plath in a bathing suit, what have you done? Yeah.